All right, if you've seen the show before, you know how it works. Before we do the big reveal, mag-recap muna tayo from items 10 to 2. At number 10, as a portable TV. 9, as a tool for dating. 8, as a music player and radio. 7, to report a crime or send a complaint. 6, as a gaming device. 5, as a mobile library of various apps. 4, as a still and video camera. 3, as a portable office. And 2, for web browsing and social media. And at number 1, ang nanguna ang pinaka life-changing way we use mobile phones. It's a faster way to communicate. Cheese miss. Our mobile phone offers the fastest way to communicate with our friends and other contacts, either through call, Sabi niyo, 10 a.m. text, MMS, video call, conference call, and others. Iba na yung yung paano tayo mag-communicate using the, our phones nowadays. Eh. Hindi na yung traditional na text na lang, tawag. It's a combination of social networks, apps, and, and, and the internet. That's changing the way we actually communicate with our smartphones. I got hooked dun sa pagta-text. Ano? So, that to me was yung turning point for, for yung paggamit ko ng mobile phone. Uh, it wasn't really for making phone calls, but more for using it sa SMS. And yung convenience kasi ng texting is yung kung gusto mong mag-reply, reply ka, di ba? Kung hindi, sabi mo, hindi ko nakuha yung texting. <laughs> mga ganun, mga excuses na palusot. Inis na me. Nowadays, kung professional ka, nagtatrabaho ka, hindi pwedeng wala kang telepono. Now, the texting component of the mobile phone is so patok because Pinoy's love to make chica. We always want to be connected with our loved ones. Now, in fact, the Philippines is dubbed as the text messaging capital of the world. Convenient yung SMS para sa mga Pinoy kasi ayaw natin ng direct confrontation. Di ba? Hello! Direct confrontation is yung tatawag, mag-uusap tayo. Mas prefer ko na indirect, ite-text ako, I will answer at my own convenience. Kung urgent siya, sasagutin ko, maybe call you. Kung hindi siya urgent, I'll text you back. Ayon sa mobility poll ng Time Magazine, 32% ang nagsabi na kung bibigyan sila ng choice, ha, mas gugusin nila ang mag-text na lang kaysa magsalita. Now, how did this technology change the world? Ano tayo na sina bukas? Anong oras? Bahala na, bukas na lang. Text-text tayo. Tatext mo lang sila, asang ka na. So, parang mas madali na ngayon magkita and mas madali na to get a point across. Kasi, text eh. Walang masyadong commitment na mag-uusap. At any time, pwede mo magbago yung plano. Pag wala pa sila, pwede mo silang i-text na, asang ka na. And you can get an update right away. Where is this creature? Hello? Marisa? Yes, I've been trying to call you. Where are you? Yung convenience ng communication gives you freedom and flexibility, di ba? May flexibility kayo. Ang trade-off naman, nawawala yung skill naman natin na magplano beforehand. Kasi po, ano eh, lahat po ng tao may cellphone na tapos, ano po, parang necessity na po siya ng tao. Uh, from the start, di ba, ano, landline lang yung ginagamit ng tao. Ngayon po, high-tech na, tapos wireless, tapos convenient pa dalhin. Kahit sa ano, kasi may signal, pwede ka na matawagan. Mm-hmm. Kaling mo. <laughs> Amazing!